YouTube. So day one of Ridge Orchid Society show. Let's go take a look around. Sunset orchids and succulents. Where are you tubing, Marcus? There he is, the man. Look, there is like a frame, right? Right there. He is that gentleman who had those amazing succulents. And I think you did good. They're gone. Just one, one lonely turtle calling somebody's name. Yeah, we've replaced half of them so far. Yeah. So tell me, uh, you guys ship? Do you have a website or it's shows mostly? This is our first show, so we're going to be able You're to doing play. great. But you don't ship just Not for. Yet. Okay. So shows. Look for him at the shows. It's his first success. And we hope to see lots and lots more. I need to make a stop here. You know what my number one orchid? Palinopsis. Yeah? Okay. They are, and they're beautiful. Look what he's got. Wonderful prices. Variety. Come visit Marcus because he has all that and because he's my neighbor. Look at this. Yeah, I agree with you. Me too. <laughs> right there is a neighborly pottery stand with the salesperson that is chewing. We're going to give her a minute. So what do we have? We have, you know, remember I wasn't prepared, but we have lots of stuff. We even have wood. Martha and Marcus are friends. We have mounds. We have tacos. We have sleeves and the mushrooms. Mushrooms. We need to push those mushrooms, right? Okay, so there are the boats. We decided to call them. There is my home. Have that phalaenopsis that I put in there, and we have roots coming out through everywhere. So this is kind of new. And then we have some naughty and nice ornaments, art, sleeves. By the way, speaking of the sleeves, I of course went and shopped and I bought this beautiful girl. She was in the plastic and I gave her a new home and look at that difference. It looks so much nicer. And then we have our mix and match mounts. And you've seen all that. I showed it yesterday, so I'm not going to really go into it. And so this is us. So here he comes. Pulls the plants for the uh, awards. Me and Miss Martha, look at her apron. How fancy can one girl be? Mm. We're gonna go and visit the host kind of nursery, Winter Haven Orchid Nursery. Look at this beautiful patchwork. This is fabric. How cool is that? And they have a variety. They have paths. This is one plant I didn't buy yet. Lots of them. Then there's zygos. I actually have been looking at that one plant over there. It's really cute. Ooh, look what they got. <laughs> and boom have some cutesy stuff crystals okay and lots of lots of look at this beauty I really like it it's cute I'm not buying it I'm just showing you compact brussolola type cross orchids where is the name something in there I don't want to dig in there it's very tight 
and so the rubiums, they have phalaenopsis, and they have all kinds of goodies. Like right here, for example, this is called love triangle. Forget the triangle. Try to <laughs> find just another half, but it's beautiful. One I want to show you. That is called. This is the tag. Very, very interesting. That is beautiful, isn't it? And then, as usual, the classic beauty for you. Okay. Some serious conversations here. We're not a part of serious conversation. And her name is, you know, the tag is Peter Lynn something and it's broken, laying there. So this is Winter Haven. There's information for you. And they have really cool bags as well. And then there's, look. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. What is it called? A Florida pot. Correct. And then there's a bulby in it. What kind of bulbo is it? Doris Dukes. In the most beautiful pot possible. Yeah. Oh. We fit the pretty pot. And these guys are cool. Lindopsis. Oh my god, it just happened. The moment when I see it and and I want it. Yeah, and I see it and I when I want it, the song, you know, and I like it. Uh-huh. So this is a Vanda. <laughs> Okay, let me think about it. Not too long. See, that's why you don't go and shop because then you get all this trouble. And also, in every video, you know why her channel is called Just One More Orchid. Yeah? Okay. So here they are. They will possibly, very possibly ship. Was the answer. <laughs> Be very, very nice. <laughs> And this is their information. Yeah. So no Alaska. Okay, let's go see what's next. Okay, and so the next is Ritter Tropics. And these guys always have flowers. There. Somebody asking to be in the video. So it was funny this time because people would recognize her and they completely ignore me then we kind of recognize uh, we okay Trisha and Jeff this is dedication to you because that's who <laughs> I left for they are wonderful shoppers very nice to meet you and I promised them to mention them Attempt number 301, because each time, thanks God, I have customers, and then I go, and then, you know. So we are at Ritter Orchids and Tropicals, and they have whatever your heart desires. Look at this beautiful. She's moving. I wonder. <laughs> beautiful. And then they have regular plants, not orchid types as well. Chinese something. So, ooh, Eltonius. And one thing I always liked about them, they have this wall of seedlings. And forever and ever, they had the best deals uh, on... Uh, plants see 110 or 325 and there's like whatever your heart desires there's 
and the appy of a really cool color. Are they in pots? Yes, they are in little pots. Really nice. So the red ones. Oh, and they have a bunch of tolumnias. No. How big are they? Right there. Because if you remember, I was promising you that project. The project is all done. So one of the next videos I do, I'll show you what I've made. And this was... And then here are the two most hardworking women in this show, right after me, Christina Miranda and Miss Marda, as I call her the other day. What do we have, Miss Miranda, Mrs.? Just take a look and see. Take a look. She makes it easy. Take a look. They're famous Brazilian species and their children. They ship. They're very, very, very famous for their coolest stuff ever. Here they have lots of babies that you can grow to your liking so your children behave the way you want them to behave. We were discussing it today with one dad. And these two Valkyrianas are absolutely to die for. You're not going to find them easily. These are cool. Okay, so we're doing this place with you tomorrow morning when there will be no people here. Smile pretty! <laughs> and I'm gonna go and discover the forbidden land, brethren, orchids. Right here. What's so funny? Okay. Surprise! But here, you guys started liking the coffee more and more. They have lots of those, Philip told me, on their website. So it's the Trospis, but the coffee color form. So cool. So far... Oh, I got one from them. It's on my... Uh, what is it called? Booth. And then uh, these are these cool, cool little ones. Remember I got them after Orchid Symposium? The cool people, the Talawa, they actually bloomed already twice. So I'd strongly recommend. These are really nice and they're cute. Very uh, small and if you have a uh, space issue. Okay, and then there's this girl. Look at that color. Encyclia who? Yes, the Encyclia who? If you are interested. Then they have this one. What are you? Moonlight. This thing is huge. Look at that. And then they have like Costi, the fattest one I've ever seen. The red jewel. We have it. Very healthy. Then there's a bunch of other stuff. There are people on the way, so I'm not gonna go there. Here we are. And the next stop will be, thank you so much, Accent Orchids. I want to show you these two. These are super amazing. You know what I call them? I call them the Onion Orchid. Because I am not capable of memorizing that. They have them on the website. These are, they're pricey. But look how healthy these particular ones are. And he told me he does have them available on the website. This I got last time at the Phalaenopsis uh, Symposium. And the, the little Deliciosus babies I showed you yesterday in the preview. How cute. 
Some of them have that silver leaf version, and that's the one I got when they were guests at the uh, Englewood Orchid Society. God, thanks God I made the rule not to buy nothing. I'm trying again. Accent, you're pretty familiar. My mom got this one. That's a Bretonia uh, cross. Really cute. This is actually the first time when me and my mom clicked on choices. So, and they of course have whatever your heart desire. Look at this itty bitty cutie. What's the name? Clark. Amazing. Martha Clark. Amazing. And then there's this that is pretty, pretty, pretty. And the crazy number of all kinds of Ancidiums. This is the crowd's favorite and my favorite. I only had the favorite Cymbidium, oh, Cymbidium Ancidium. These grow and bloom continuously. If you ever looking for wildcat something, yeah. They are super amazing. This time they have these dudes, Certopodium, and these really nice baskets. God, it took me a little bit. <laughs> it's attempt number five to finish the video because each time something happens, Miss Ruth, Mrs. Ruth. This was another pick of my mom, but. Phalaenopsis one, and she got the Phalaenopsis. Beautiful plant on a very nice plaque. And then they have, ooh, this one is cool. Because this is the usual one. Ludesia, they're called. This one is a little bit different. I like it. I'm already broke because I went shopping. Now, that was Brad's pick. This one. It's really cute. Sunrose. Yeah, we had a discussion over the name. I said, who is naming Orchid a rose? Yeah, so in as usual, they have a variety, variety, variety of all kinds of summer love right here. Pretty amazing. And these are, are you? I don't see. I don't want to dig in. I'm tired, honestly. It's been a very fun day. <laughs> Something is happening here. Some kind of organized. <laughs> I don't want to name it. <laughs> but. Okay, and these are the people with. Um, supplies. Or a little bit, very little. And I already was thanked by a subscriber over mentioning them. They have everything. Look, Spagna, Orchiata, Clippers, and then they have New Zealand tree fern that I mentioned before was a problem to get at some point. Okay, we're getting all these prices with Martha. And I think this is it. We have Vanda Lady over there that I already bought the plant from. And we have my wonderful neighbors that I want to show you with Hoyas. If you've seen the preview video, this was the one that caught my eye, and I got it. Mine is a little bit darker, very fragrant. I cannot pronounce that officially. And then, whatever color. This is. I like the like a smaller ones. These large ones are beautiful, but for some reason I always 
like the petite flowers. So, and tomorrow we're going to talk about all the awarded pandas. Mm, look at this one. Smells so good here. Okay. This one, I was looking at her. Very, very cool. What is, her name is, I think, yeah. Her name is a mystery. <laughs> but she's gorgeous. So, got into an absolutely lovely conversation with a most handsome Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. And <laughs> I'm back to my lighthouse Hoyas. Uh, Irina, this is for you. There's a friend of mine who is a little bit into this thing. So, many people accuse me of being the instigator of sales, but come on, even I like this stuff. And I absolutely am not allowed to buy anything but orchids. So they ship. There's one plant. Can you tell me about this plant, Scott? This big one. I got absolutely fascinated by this thing. Lois. It's easy. And you said it's also called dinner plate? Look at his face and look at this one. <laughs> this one is cool. So whoever wants this one is available at Lighthouse Hoyas. And then there's Bella. There's Lisa. I am known for the names. I buy my orchids. If they have a crazy name, I don't buy them. So, Chelsea. Look. No, these are people. Carnosa Red. Is there something like super amazing that you would like to show us? Or they're all amazing? I really like this. It's not for sale. Is there display? Look at this beauty. Crimson Queen. Of course she's a beauty. Wow. This was a gift. Yeah? This was a gift that a lady that actually she was really big into orchids. Uh huh. She was getting older and she wasn't physically able to care for everything. Don't you love those ladies that give you stuff? It was a lot because I was like. 20, she's the lady that worked for her she told me 20 years she had cared for it and she when she said she heard I loved the Hoyas uh -huh. she wanted to give it to me wow. Like, wow and that was a good decision look at that so beauty like, that's a lot of pressure but I'll do everything I can well girls do that to man we do <laughs> give you lots of pressure <laughs> and you need to do that because you know hand hand, you can demonstrate it. I noticed that uh, Hoyas always pre are present at the organization it shows there's no other plants usually but Hoyas I guess it's the same level of addiction <laughs> it's, I mean they're really first cousins they're epiphytic in nature just like you know, what's this is that their seeds seed pods. cool Keith did, I don't think he knew they were on there when he took that out last night so are they the same as orchids do not attempt to propagate you need to do lab thing or no, yeah. they do propagate. So you stick it into whatever and then ta da that thing appears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so here they are, you guys if you've seen what you like. There's a lots a lot. This girl is cool. Genevieve. Yeah. And then also what's good, you can buy them and then you can put put them in one of my <laughs> creations. So this is the uh, end of day one. We did really good. It was a good crowd. Sold quite a few pieces. I have so many mushrooms that somebody come and buy them all. And we're going to do with you a video tomorrow about the displays and who won what. So far, you have a wonderful night.
and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.